Hello. So today is the last in the series on the Synclavier or Synclavia, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, we're going to take a look in both of the computer bins here and I'll run through a little of what's actually inside this box. Once we do that, I'll play one of the tracks I'm working on and I'll show you some of the restoration of the actual keyboard itself. So before I ramble on too much, let's take a look at the seat. So looking at the panel, I'll just quickly run through what we've got on the front here. So a terminal, which allows you to connect up to an external computer and uh, view what's actually going on on the hardware. Uh, this is not connected. It's a printer modem port for printing out scores, that type of thing. Uh, we've got the two floppy drive ports here. So that's the main drive, that's secondary. We've got a uh, filter up here. So if you turn it off, it makes the uh, synth quite a bit brighter. Um, most of the patches, according to the manual, are designed to have the filters both in. So you get a bit of uh, choice of how you actually uh, want the synth to sound. Uh, velocity, which uh, the original keyboard that I've got uh, doesn't have velocity. That's where the keyboard comes in. Uh, expansion synthesizer is for actually uh, pairing up to other uh, Synclavier units or Synclavier units and there's a digital guitar interface. Uh, right down the bottom here, we've got an external clock input. We've got a click track out for when you're using the sequencer. We've got a standard line out um, and we've got a balance line out. Now, the important thing that people keep asking me to do is open it up and have a look inside. So let's do that now. So this is the main computer here. This is the ABLE computer, which is 16-bit 16 uh, 16 and 32K of memory, if I remember correctly. Now this is, as I've said previously, entirely made of discrete logic, um, super unique, and being 16-bit in 1982, it could do some pretty amazing things. So this is the FM right down the bottom here. I'm sorry the light keeps coming in and out. Um, this is what makes all the sound. Uh, once again, it's controlled by the computer above. After that, we've got the uh, main boot card. So the terminal function as well as the actual boot signals come into this card and the uh, EPROM's on here that kicks the whole gear off. Uh, we've got the floppy drive card here, so you get uh, two floppy controllers. Mine's the later floppy card that's been adapted to run with the earlier floppy drive. Right here we've got the keyboard I.O. This, this looks after all the keyboard functions as well as the external controllers. And right here at the end you've got the audio filter and audio output. Thank you. 